Hello, my name is Michael Lee of the Editor Group, and today I'm going to be walking you through the solution validation that we did on related to the Web IDE, where we combine, where we explore the idea of combining the review and commit tabs into one. So, the idea to explore this idea came from this issue that was raised a few months ago about potentially combining the review tab with the commit tab into one because it they almost showed the same information but there were certain subtleties that we could combine the tabs to make it an easier experience for users to navigate especially coming from a merge request back to the web id to review something sometimes it could get confusing on what was being reviewed and what was being committed at the same time um, a few months ago, there was this exploration done by another designer, Mike, uh, where he explored the idea of potentially removing the tabs completely and going with just two lists. So in the combination of the two, there was this question of well, what's the right direction? Should we remove the tabs first or should we try to strive for the list in one go? Um, so to get a better understanding of for the direction, we decided to go with the solution validation to help build some confidence around any future decisions we make and understanding where the gaps may be moving forward. Since um, our group currently just took over the web ID as of a few months ago, so it was a good chance for us to get a better understanding of the problem space. So the hypothesis we used to uh, do frame or solution validations was taking a look at the navigation tree um, that we need to provide them uh, provide users with a navigation tree when reviewing a merge request because that will help them understand the structure and the locations of the files in the repository so to do this we um, we allowed users to be placed into the web id in review mode and we presented files um, the change list and ask the users if they can verify uh, what the parent folder is for each file. Next, uh, showing the path of the file when listing the files uh, can, you know, the change files in the merge request will help users uh, with better scannability. So here, same scenario, we uh, present a list of change files, but this time in a list and with um, a path name next to it and to see if users can identify the parent folder easier. Um, this all comes with an assumption that we believe that the current method of visualizing um, the icons is too complex with the different colors and shapes. Um, so what we're going to do to test is uh, ask the users what they think of what each icon means on, on its own and in the context of the solution uh, in the context of a change list to see if it makes um, if they can ad correctly identify the icons and finally um, allowing users to view the current changes that are part of a merge request so this is isolating the um, change files in a separate list um, will help the review process especially in the web IDE so what we're planning to do here is by isolating the list of changes in, into a changes tab, which is a variation of this list uh, approach, uh, but I'll show you that in a moment. And what we expect that people preferred the changes tab over the current experience. So to take a look at whether the, we need to provide a tree structure or file names next to lists, um, we asked users to compare and contrast options A, B, and C uh, and talk about uh, which one's more advantageous for their work. Um, so this is what we have currently. Um, this is uh, explorations with a tree and this is exploration with the file names on the side. Um, one thing that uh, in the solution validation is that uh, there, there were no hover effects on the image so therefore in production if you hover over this it will tell you the parent path but in in isolation like this it doesn't tell you anything whereas these ones tell you 
the information you need to know without having to do any hovering then there's downsides to this as well so if it's a heavily nested uh, application this layout will get unwieldy and really hard to parse and it's the same thing with uh, option c where if the path names are really really long um, the amount of information may not be um, presented in a way that can be scanned and then this is the tabbed approach so similar to this idea of having changes of files we we went with that uh, changes of files here where we isolated it into tabs instead of a stack list um with the with the idea that like if the changes are really long then this could push down the file tree um so that that was the background behind that um so we're ex exploring this uh, concept to see if this um, gives users a better experience so jumping into the insights so looking at both the hypothesis of the navigation tree and showing paths on the side um, the, the list was a better experience for parsing and like I said earlier um, without any hovering on the UI um, showing part of the path on the right hand side was preferred um, so what are we going to do with this we're probably going to keep things as is for now because at the moment we have the list there um, and it's easily to parse and if you hover over it you can see it there's probably things that we can improve upon accessibility um, because the hover effect um, is something that you need to do to see uh, we'll check to see if that works um, with keyboards um, only navigation um, but yeah um, that was good for us to figure that one out the next hypothesis is looking at the current icons to see, um, whether if they're too complex and, and whether we should um, show isolate the current changes in this single tab so what we learned from there was Isolating the change list in a separate list helps um, users um, focus on what needs to be revealed for within the web IDE and, and People did really didn't really understand what the merge request icon meant so uh, Some people thought that meant that these were files that have been merged already into the branch um, some people guess that it was correct that it was part of the merge request but it was very hit and miss with the understanding of that icon so potentially moving away from that icon and just having it in a change list could be much more clear people understood um, the added file um, icon very well and modified people guessed that it was either modified one person guessed that it was a file in progress of syncing hence the orange so that's something that we should be aware of with the colors that we use moving forward but yeah uh, modified and add they're okay um, the merge request icon no one understood um, yeah so and then reducing the tabs on the clarity of the page um, yeah showing the isolated change list was useful and yes that's it for this solution validation walkthrough um, if you have any more questions or comments feel free to ping me uh, at emily in the issue below i'll add the links below um, thank you have a great day